brother Matt, sister Susie from the pub, says George. On the 24th of June, you read out a confession regarding the scaring of a railway porter whilst I was a young policeman on the oh, beat in yes. Bath. Your divine jury found me not guilty and I was forgiven. Your splendid listeners agreed. Fathers, I would have to say I found the whole forgiveness thing to be a cathartic experience as it definitely put the spring back into my step. <laughs> However, I find that I may just have to bother you one more time. I hate to seem greedy when there are others queuing up for your healing outpourings and speakers. But I have another small confession to make. Once again, it involves scaring the pants off someone <laughs> whilst on duty. Good. Okay. Hmm. Shortly after that whole porter thing in the city of Bath, I moved, see previous programs for details, maybe check out the Confessions podcast. Yeah. I moved to Western Supermare, otherwise known as a cemetery with lights. <laughs> now, come on. <laughs> Wow. Very, Obviously very, not true. Very unfair, wow. George. Very, very unfair. I like Western. I like Western Supermare. Just, just saying. I worked as a traffic policeman on the M5, uh, patrolling a sector which is famous for its 25-mile-long car park during the summer months. Mm. So this is the M5. Uh -huh. So this confession takes place on the M5. It was a relatively quiet night, and about 3 a.m. we came across a VW Beetle parked on the hard shoulder. Mm. It had a large roof rack with two funky coloured surfboards strapped to it. Mm. As I got out of the patrol car, <laughs> I saw that the VW had its headlights on full beam and the engine was running. There appeared to be no one inside. But as I looked through the window, I saw two surfer dude types slumped over and fast asleep. Ugh. Clearly, they'd been driving along and getting more and more tired and were unable to make it to the services, so they pulled over for a crafty and illegal... Yes. 40 winks. Wow. My colleague was all for waking the drivers up and giving them a driver and passenger and giving them a ticket for stopping on the motorway. Mm -hmm. So he started knocking on the driver's window, but the two surfer dudes were still fast asleep. To, to imagine them, think Scooby Doo, shaggy types. <laughs> One tie dye t shirt, Ugh. denims. Yeah. Tassels, tassels everywhere. Obviously. Part time beard, multicolored beads oh, around the neck. Oh, the beads. other, the other had a caftan. <laughs> A real-life caftan. A real so our caftan. first confession oh, dear, oh, dear. with a caftan. <laughs> now, my ever-fertile mind hatched a plot. Why give them a ticket? They would only hate us forever. See us as the man. <laughs> the the, the, man. the yeah. establishment. The jackboot yeah. of oppression against yeah. their free-spirited love and peace philosophy. No. Yeah. I mean, you were the police, but, you know. <laughs> I had a much better idea. So, I got in the patrol car. I drove in front of the VW. I then reversed right up to their car until it was almost touching. I then switched on the blue flashing lights, the red flashing lights, and any other lights which would flash together with the sign which said, Police stop. We then stood one each side of the surfer dude's car, took hold of the roof rack and started to violently rock the car from side to <gasps> side. It's like a wild theme park ride. We also yelled and screamed like devils. <laughs> I have to say, Father Simon, the result was spectacular. The two surfers immediately behaved as though they were in a zero-gravity device, which also served as a spin dryer. The driver grabbed his steering wheel and started to swerve from side to side, uh, trying what? to avoid crashing into the police car, which was now in front of him. He was screaming out loud, thumping the brake pedal. His passenger was yelling out some indescribable gibberish whilst placing both hands on the windscreen to avoid the crash. I believe they might have regretted not stopping at the previous service station yeah. toilets. When everything settled down, the driver opened his door and was hardly able to speak. I thought I was about to run into you, man. 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 He said, well, well, let that be a lesson to you, young fella, my lad said my colleague, because that's how we spoke back yeah. in the day. Once they had regained the composure, Barton and John John, as apparently they were called, had been given some suitable advice regarding stopping on a motorway, and they continued their journey. That's like classic surfer names, don't you think? Barton and John Barton John. Barton and John John. Barton and they were the surf dudes, yeah. Mm. In the I don't know which one was in the caftan. Father Simon and the Divine Duo, I seek your forgiveness for scaring these two dudes to within an inch of their lives, but in fairness, I think they took away from the incident a sense of fair play and would be unlikely to reoffend. I would just like to point out I'm not a serial scarer, nor am I a collector of smart speakers. I just needed to be released from the guilt of scaring people. A darn fine show, by the way, and keep up the good work. Uh, which is a very nice thing, doesn't necessarily get you any 
forgiveness, but let's see what we make it out of it here. Susie, uh, S- producer Susie from the pub. Well, George, I, th- I do think that they shouldn't have stopped on the M5. Definitely. That definitely shouldn't have happened. But then I also think you were probably a bit mean as well. So I'm really torn here because they shouldn't have done that, but then maybe you should have done that. But, oh, no, I'm not going to forgive you. They they were wrong, but you should have just given them a ticket and moved them on. There you go. That's what uh, I'm Yeah, saying. well, I think that's probably right. It's very dangerous to park on our yeah. shoulder. Yeah. And obviously, in the in the wee small hours, they had nothing better to do than to play a prank on yeah. the hard shoulder. Brother Matthew. George, you had me at surfboards and funky VW. Absolutely going to forgive Ooh. whatever happened from that point on with your beads, your caftan, and <laughs> your obvious, probably, I'm going to guess, uh, predilection for not having a shower and and putting things in your hair. It's like having and, Mr. Weasley. Yes. No, or... <laughs> no, no, Mr. Weasley. Uh, who was the, you know, the, the, I've forgotten the guy who's all grumpy at oh, the right. beginning. Yes, uh, him. Anyway, uh, for that reason, I was always going to forgive. Mr. And Dursley. Dursley. Mr. Dursley. 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 Mr. That's Dursley. Who you are. Well done. Him as well, if he'd been in the car. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yes, I'm going to forgive. Just desserts. <laughs>